Albert Einstein famously remarked in a conversation with Werner Heisenberg, he said, you know, in the West, we've built a beautiful ship and in it, it has all the comforts. But actually, the one thing that it doesn't have is a compass. And that's why it doesn't know where it's going. This paradox of our times was propounded by the Dalai Lama when he said we have wider freeways, but narrower viewpoints. We have taller buildings, but shorter tempers. Will Smith said that we spend money we haven't earned on things we don't need to impress people we don't like. And it's phenomenal how the same technology that brings us close to those who are far away takes us far away from the people that are actually close. 30 billion WhatsApp messages are sent per day, but 48% of people say that they feel lonelier in general. The paradox of our times is that we have more degrees but less sense, more knowledge but less judgment, more experts but less solutions. It was Martin Luther King who said that the irony of our times is that we have guided missiles but misguided men. Have you ever found it perplexing that we've been all the way to the moon and back but we struggle to start a conversation across the road or across the train and it's amazing that Bill Gates was known as the top earner in 2015 with a wealth of 79.2 billion but one in four CEOs claim to be struggling from depression and do we actually thrive off this paradox is it that this paradox actually makes the media interesting it's what makes journalism interesting it's what makes politics interesting it's what makes television interesting is this paradox actually what we feed off and what we live off and what we talk about and discuss in our circles doesn't it seem that we've tried to clean the air but polluted our soul? We've split the atom but not our prejudice and we're aiming for higher incomes but we have lower morals. So I'm hearing you ask, how do we bring a change? How do we dissect this paradox that exists in our lives? And it starts by us, each of us, pressing pause, pressing reset and then pressing play again. Taking a moment to become more conscious, taking a moment to become more aware, taking a moment to really reflect on the consequence, the implications of a misplaced word, of an unnecessary argument that we all know we didn't need to have, or to speak to someone just slightly differently in a different tone, in a different voice, in a different empathy, with a different perspective, just to really connect with people on a different level. This thinking out loud started from Albert Einstein, and I'll track back to him when he actually said that the problems we have today can't be solved with the same thinking we used when we once created them. So actually we need to research alternative teachings, we need to deep down dig into those ancient books of wisdom. We need to go back to understanding if there's anything written in those creased pages of time that can actually reveal more knowledge and more wisdom of how we can transform our experience of light today. Otherwise, this paradox means that every step forward we take, we're taking three backwards every time. I really want you to get involved in this conversation and this dialogue as we think out loud together about our minds in this world. So please join and subscribe today. Look forward to you joining me.